Remember when going to the doctor's office looked like this? Now it looks more like this. Across the country, more and more doctor's offices are using electronic health records, or EHRs. As digital records have become more common, unanticipated problems with design, workflow, training, and how clinicians use them have contributed to patient harm. To learn more, we talked to MedStar Health's Dr. Raj Watwani, a leading researcher on EHR usability and safety. EHR should make it easier and safer for clinicians to provide care to patients. The suboptimal usability of EHRs can lead to mistakes like selecting the wrong patient, ordering the wrong drug, and missing critical lab results. MedStar Health's Dr. Terry Fairbanks, who studies human factors in healthcare, explained how a computer auto-refresh error can cause a problem without the doctor even realizing it. Let's take two patients, Martha Jones and Daniel Rodriguez, who come into the emergency department on the same day and have similar issues, so they both need a chest x-ray. When the doctor goes to see Martha Jones, they pull up the patient's electronic health record to look at the x-ray. And the doctor actually pulls up Daniel Rodriguez's x-ray thinking that it is Martha's. And this x-ray appears normal, so the doctor sends Martha home. This all happened in a fraction of the second. So let's slow it down to see what actually happened. In between the first and second click, the database updates with new patient information and auto-refreshes. So by the time the doctor finishes the second click, the x-ray icon his cursor was on now belongs to Daniel Rodriguez. Daniel's x-ray looks fine. On the other hand, this is Martha Jones' actual x-ray. You can see there's a large white area here which represents a pneumonia which needs antibiotics. Without antibiotics, Martha could get much worse very quickly. This is one example of a health IT facilitated error, and there are many others. This is a fixable problem, but currently, there's not enough research on how and why these errors occur. All patients deserve the best care possible. We need better data now on how, when, and why these challenges arise so that we can all do a better job protecting our patients.